What is up YouTube? It is Franklin from Do Humor and we got a very special combo tutorial to showcase for you guys. It is the Sacred Beast combo tutorial slash test hand. Uh, this is for one commentator in the last uh, Sacred Beast uh, deck profile. Uh, Tony White, shout out to you man. You wanted uh, this combo tutorial slash test hand. I'm going to provide it for you and hopefully it can help out a lot of the other uh, people who need to learn how to play the deck or want to learn more little combos interactions uh that this deck can do because it's really fun and um i want to help you guys out so let's just get started we'll put this in the bottom and let's just get started with the first card combo it's a one card combo and it's a very basic it's with dark beckoning beast and the dark beckoning beast is one of the best starter cards if not the best starter card in the deck and you're gonna see why. So with a normal summon dark the dark dark beckoning beast right here. We're normal summon him. And he has an effect that when he's normal summoned, you can just basically search out a card um, that has the sacred beast in it. And I'm just gonna search out, I already had it here. I'm gonna search out uh, opening of the spirit gates. Opening the spirit gates and dark uh, beckoning beast have a great uh, basically the similar effect in the initial phase that they search out a card that has the secret beast in their name and uh, we're going to do the same thing here we're going to search out and we are going to get um, in this case we get a dark summoning beast and what's neat about dark beckoning beast is that Additionally, when it's normal summon, it'll give you another additional normal summon uh, that you can use. Um, so we can actually tribute Dark ba uh, Beckoning Beast to normal summon, Dark Summoning Beast. And now with Dark Summoning Beast on our field, we can tribute himself and we can special summon um, a Sacred Beast from our deck to the field. So we're going to summon Raviel. Right off the bat, with one card, we basically netted a plus one in advantage, uh, which is the Sacred Beast and the Dark op the opening of the Spirit Gate. And that was just with one card, 4,000 Attack Monster, and the opening of Savory. That's pretty good. Now we're going to go up to the two card combo, which is uh, really awesome. With Sacred Beast, uh, with Dark Beckoning Beast, and opening of the spirit gates so that's pretty cool all right so two card combo pretty cool so we normal summon beckoning beast like last time beckoning beast is gonna search out um, a card for us which is really nice and we're gonna search out uh, this time we're going to search out Chaos Summoning Beast. We still get the additional Normal Summon. So Chaos Summoning Beast is added to our hand. Now we got two cards in our hand. Opening of the Spirit Gates and Chaos Summoning Beast. Uh, we're going to activate Opening of the Sacred Beast. And he's going to search out Dark Summoning Beast. It doesn't really matter what order you search out uh, the two other beasts. As long as you search them out with these two guys. Um, granted, this is without any interruption from your opponent, but you get the idea that this is a very cool concept in combos that you guys want to learn right off the bat. So now we get to normal summon Chaos Summoning Beast onto the field. Now we got two of the, the beasts, but we can't activate Chaos Summoning Beast. This effect that lets us tribute off himself to special summon a monster. You say a sacred monster, you say it to me. Well, we do have a good idea of how to do that. By linking off Dark Vacuuming Beast into um, our Mirage right here. Dark Vacuuming Beast is in the graveyard. Now... Opening of the Sacred Beast has an effect that it's a monster we're born for a sake uh, for a fiend monster that has zero attack in our graveyard, and we fulfill the requirement with Dark Beckoning Beast. In order to activate that effect, we must uh, pay the cost, which is discard a card from our hand, 
which is in this case dark summoning beast and then we could special summon a card uh, from our graveyard that's a fiend zero attack zero defense um what card in our graveyard is zero attack zero defense well we have two cards technically um and we don't want to use dark beckoning beast because number one his effect doesn't work uh, twice per turn plus um it would be a waste so we can special summon the card that we discarded in this instance um which is dark summoning beast to the field now granted this effect um is very it's not doesn't happen with every card effect but the way the, this um effect is layered for opening the spirit gates makes it that we can summon the discard monster if it fulfills the requirements of zero attack zero defense fiend and in this case it does because of dark summoning beast so we can normal summon we can special summon dark summoning beast from our graveyard in this instance really awesome interaction kind of reminds me of aluminum of the life sworn so it's a very niche uh but it's pretty awesome interaction and it's something that you definitely should know as a sacred beast player now so we special summon dark summoning beast to the field doesn't matter where we contribute him and he will special summon obviously the sacred beast like last combo to the field uh we could summon rabiel so we summon rabiel like last time dark summoning beast has another effect on top of that obviously rabiel can attack this turn that's fine uh, Dark Summoning Beast has another effect that when we banish him from the graveyard, he lets us add another Sacred Beast card uh, from our deck to our hand. And we're going to add Haman. Now, we could have added Uriah, but Uriah has zero attack and is probably the worst um, Sacred Beast in terms of uh, end boards that you want to use. You only want Uriah when you're going to summon the Fusion. So. It's not really the best in the opening hand so definitely do not use Raya unless you already have him in the opening hand i guess and so we have um back to the comment we have from haman we're going to activate chaos summoning beast now we fulfill chaos summoning beast's requirement by tributing himself we could special summon a sacred beast from the hand to the field ignoring its summoning conditions and we can summon haman right there so we got haman Rabio and Amaraj plus opening the spirit gates. Um, we can now activate a Chaos Summoning Beast's effect by banishing himself from the graveyard. We can add Fallen Paradise. That is a really good effect. <laughs> and so we got Fallen Paradise. And then we can activate Fallen Paradise and draw two additional cards. Doesn't matter. Just draw two cards. <laughs> because we control two sacred beasts and they're untargetable by card effect and can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effect so it's really good two card combo basically netted us um from two one two three four five five card advantage basically that's really good so seven cards in total out of two cards so it's a plus five it's a really good thing and um probably the best combo of the deck uh so let's go on to a test hand real quick and then we'll call it a video for you guys uh make it nice and short as short as humanly possible that i can do it so we're going to uh, shuffle the uh, deck and hope for the vest you know Oof. So real quick, all right, they would open five cards. I'm gonna see what we can get. Uh, best five card, uh, best combo we can do with five cards. So we're gonna draw five, and obviously we're going first. That's why we're only picking five because this deck is best suited to go first. We got a pretty good hand right now. I'm not crazy, but it's pretty good. Got the Ash Negator or Veiler Negator, which is really good. And then we got Foolish and we got Dark Vacuum Beast. So, obviously, I mean, we can activate Foolish. I'm gonna activate Foolish. And um, let's show you guys. Um, okay, we can show you guys the Darkest Jablos now. And um, we send Darkest Jablos. To the graveyard so we can show you guys that little interaction 
and it's really good to set up set them up or initially on before we start our combo so now we're going to normal summon dark beckoning beast dark beckoning beast is activating his effect to search out the uh seven the opening of the spirit gates right here now we have four cards still we're going to activate opening the spirit gates and we're going to search out the chaos summoning beast so there we go we're doing combo number uh two right now with the additional cards in hand as well we're gonna normal summon the additional normal summon of chaos summoning beast right here so you guys can see and now we're going to link off Dark Reckoning Beast into Almirage right there. Now, we're going to activate uh, opening of the seven beast. And we're going to discard the Dark Summoning Beast to resummon the Dark Summoning Beast right here. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to activate Dark Summoning Beast, tributing him off to summon the Haman or yeah we could summon Haman it doesn't really matter we're gonna summon both of them anyways this turn so we're gonna summon Haman right here now upon tribute summoning of dark summoning beast we can activate darkest Diablos and he will special summon himself out from the graveyard to the field that's really awesome that is an additional piece to it so now we're gonna activate dark summoning beast's effect we're going to obviously um banish himself and add rabio to the field so here's rabio right there looking stunning and now we got rabio we got uh so magician's souls we're still doing well man we're gonna van uh we're gonna tribute uh chaos summoning beast and we are going to, uh, I was going a little ahead of myself, we're going to special summon Rabiel to the field. And now we're going to banish Chaos Summoning Beast and search the Fallen Paradise like I wanted to do initially. Because when I see Chaos Summoning Beast, all I see is Fallen Paradise, man. So, here we go. Now we're going to activate Fallen Paradise because we do control two Sacred Beast monsters. We only need one, but we can we control two. So we're going to activate it, and we're going to activate Hit the Fact to draw two cards. We still have the Souls in hand. Really awesome. So we drew into Awakening of the Sacred Beast and uh, Magician's Souls. We, we, we awaken a sacred beast and a, another call by the grave. We already have magician souls. So now we're going to trigger a magician souls effect. We're going to special summon him out. Doesn't really matter where. Uh, and to fulfill his requirement of special summoning, we have to dump Apprentice Illusion. So we'll look for Apprentice Illusion right here. And we'll dump her out. Apprentice Illusion is not bad. Even when she comes out on your field, she's actually a free body. Because she disc you discard a card, you special summon her. So it's really good. Now, we have a couple of options here too that we can do. Um, I personally, in this situation, obviously you're not going to want to waste this Awakening of Sacred Beast because you want that in your field. That's a skill train now, currently with the setup that we have. I would rather um, take out one of the Call by the Graves and one of the Opening the, the opening of Spirit uh, Gates. Uh, opening Spirit Gates is good because it recycles some stuff as well, but if you have this field, you want to like fortified your field so i rather send the opening of spirit gates because it's already used you already used it, its effects for this turn and call by the grave because the additional call by the grave that we have in hand is going to be a disruptor uh, for your opponent if your opponent's playing zombies and stuff or another deck a lot of decks revolve around the graveyard call by the grave becomes a hand trap against them which is really nice and then it gets the monster effect so it's really good against El Lich. it's really good against um <laughs> a lot of decks even and emancipators with a block dragon so it's really awesome so we're gonna send these two cards do two missions of souls effect and we're gonna draw two more cards so we draw two cards let's see what they are oh so we sky blast and infinite improvements that's really good so now look at what we have here we're gonna activate silly inside blast we're gonna put it right here it doesn't really matter so now harman can negate a spawn trap 
we're going to set the infinite impermanence, we're going to set the awakening, and we're going to set the call by the grave. We are going to activate the darkest Diablos effect, and we're going to tribute Almiraj. And by tributing Almiraj with darkest Diablos, um, actually, we, we can't tribute the Almiraj. Sorry about that. It has to be a dark monster. So we'll tribute um, Magician's Souls. And with Magician's Souls being tributed, we basically get to rip a card out of the hand. So now your opponent's going to start off with four cards instead of five. So they're going to draw a five, fifth card. And basically, we are good. Look at this field. We got a uh, skill drain. We have a um, spawn trap negator. We have infinite imperm. Uh, we have infinite impermanence right here, and then we have call by the grave. On top of that, we have a non-targeting three thousand beater. We have a non-targeting four thousand beater. We have a no another non-targeting four thousand beater, and then we have Almira just for the bonus that we could just tribute him off, um, just for the for the lulls. That is pretty good. You can always go into the side deck and make something, but obviously keep in mind that AP I, IP Masquerina can't be made with Link monsters. So that's what the reason why I try to tribute Almiraj on. But I, I had to remember that you have to tribute a Dark Monster for that effect. So but just those got tributed instead. But still, that's a big board and easy OTK potential. Um, that's one of the best boards you can make in this deck. So yeah. I don't want to keep this longer for you, but Tony White, this is for you. Um, anyone else who wanted to uh, this video, uh, thanks uh, for suggesting. I'm going to keep making awesome content like this. And if you guys are interested in making this deck, please, please, please use my TCG affiliate link because that does help out the channel. Also, subscribe, hit the, the notification button because we do make more awesome videos like this, more one to one, which is like a good way with humor to help you guys understand decks like this and um, deck profiles and pack openings um, that you guys will definitely definitely enjoy it if you love the game Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, that's it. Franklin from Do Humor out. Peace, guys.